type of guy you want to play play next to. Just the way he commands the team, the offense, and uh, just the way he goes about his business. I am Melissa Enrique here on behalf of Sports Illustrated with DeAndre Swift from the Philadelphia Eagles on behalf of Pepsi Zero Sugar. The Eagles just had their annual practice that was open to the public. 50,000 fans showed up to watch you practice. What was that like? It was crazy. The atmosphere, the energy that the fans brought, it was crazy. It gave you a little taste of how the season going to be. Die hard fans. You're bringing your abilities as a runner and a pass catcher to an already potent Eagles team and offense. What should Philly fans expect from you this year? They getting a team guy first, a playmaker, somebody that's going to play his role to the best of his ability. Just looking to have fun out there, man. That's all. Okay, so Jalen Hurts. You get to see him up close and personal in practice. What is he like as a leader of the team and the offense? Exactly what you said, a leader. From the, from the moment he wake up, I guess, till he go to sleep, you're the same way. Business like all day, every day, 24 hours of the day. Um, type of guy you want to play play next to. Just the way he commands the team, um, the offense, and uh, just the way he goes about his business. So is he posed for an MVP run in your mind? <laughs> you got my vote. <laughs> yeah, I would believe so. Can your Eagles team this season be a historically great offense? I believe so. With the work that we put in um, each day, it ain't gonna come overnight. We gotta work for that, work to be that. So I think with the work we put in, the, the mental focus that I see that the guys in the in the room have every single day, I believe so. Seeing of your first preseason game, do you have any pregame rituals? I don't really have no crazy pregame ritual. I just can't really sit still. I'm like always moving around, doing something, like a good nervous type of energy, um, listening to music, that type of thing, just getting ready to go. Do you have any songs? That like any like particular song you have to hear before a game? Not not one, no, not one particular song. No, I don't. Any artists? Art, I got a few artists that I listen to. Yeah, for sure. Future, Meek Mill, and uh, Little Baby. They gotta be in a, the game day rotation. So now I've got actually this question I've been dying to ask. Who is the more interesting coach you played for? Is it Campbell? It's been making headlines. You wanted a real lion <laughs> on your sidelines this season. Or is it your current coach, Nick Serrani? Or is it your college coach, Kirby Smart? They all kind of unique in their own little way, but um, they all bring great energy to the football team. All type of coaches want to play for, want to demand the best out of their players. But I'm excited to play for Coach Serrani. All right, so let's say the Eagles make it to the Super Bowl this year. Who do you want to see at the halftime performance? Is it Taylor Swift? I, I, would, I would love to see Taylor Swift. Other than Taylor Swift, I want to see, um, I want to see Alicia Keys. Oh, I want to see Alicia okay. Keys. I love that. <laughs> All right. You're going to be an up for a new contract after the season. With all the talk about running back value, is that something that's in the back of your mind? Not really right now, no. I'm just focused on the next practice, really getting better each single day. That's really what's on my mind right now. I'm just focused on that. On behalf of Pepsi Zero Sugar, to encourage fans to get their hands on the new number zero jersey as part of Pepsi Zero Sugar becoming the official zero of the NFL. How's that feel? Amazing. Yeah, it's amazing to be able to partnership with Pepsi Zero Sugar. Like you said, Pepsi is the official zero of the NFL and first year they're allowing players to wear number zero. It's a great feeling. All right. Well, on behalf of Sports Illustrated, I want to thank you for taking the time out to do this interview. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs>